Hey guys, Figurecraft here, and today we're going to be doing the next issue of the build of the Titanic, and we're going to be working on issue 47 today. So for this, you're going to need your uh, screwdriver set, and then you're going to need your box of parts, which I've already got this out because I've been working on it. I did a video of um, showing what I was uh, putting in the windows. But we're going to need that. And then you're also going to need your box 47. Box 47. Which contains your last pieces you're going to need for this build. So, getting our book out and getting ready. I'm turning the pages to the instructions where we need to be. All right. Deck over the first class lounge. Step one. Remove the protective film from the foil sticker. 47L. Then apply it to the inside of the roof of the first class lounge. 47K. <clears throat> In the position indicated by the red circle rub down carefully with a soft cloth so that's what we're going to be doing so let me set this over here to the side and I'm going to need this foil sticker and I'm also going to need this roof. So first of all, get the foil sticker out. Which is going to be kind of hard to do because I stuffed it inside of a plastic bag. But I wanted to keep it protected. So, just give me a few to fight with this bag. Okay, got one side out. Two sides out. Okay, there's the foil sticker. So, set this bag to the side. I got my foil sticker back out. And I'm going to have to flip the deck over to where it's in this position right here. From the looks of it, okay, when you turn it up, you can't see it. You see those little holes up there, those little circles? That's where the sticker is going to be positioned on them. So, I'm going to do this differently than what I've seen other YouTubers do it. I'm going to peel this sticker partially halfway. And this thing is very sticky. I'm going to fold the paper back. Like this, I'm going to fold the paper back. And I'm going to do my best to position the sticker as straight as I can. And then I'm going to pull this off. Like that, and then I'm going to rub it down. And then I'm going to eyeball it. And yep, we got it. First try. So I'm going to rub this down with my finger because I don't have a soft cloth. Right, there we go. The sticker is now on there. Now what that's for is that's going to basically, when the light hits it, it's going to reflect from that sticker and have this whole place to glow. That's a, um, a light reflector. From what I'm getting at. Which is my first time doing one of them, to tell you the truth. 
All right. Now, step two. Take the decking over the first class lounge, 47K, and the decking 47A. Check the fit, then remove the backing from the decking and fix in place over part 47K, ensuring that all the holes are correctly aligned. Smooth it down with a soft cloth. You may find it helpful to... You may find it helpful. Huh, they got a misspelled in here. Helpful? It's supposed to say helpful. <laughs> oh, oh well. Helpful to use a cotton bud to smooth the edges into place against raised parts of the decking. Which I did have trouble when I put mine down on the raised parts of the decking over here. I had to use um, the Loctite super glue on certain parts of it to get it to stay sticking down. You can see what right there where it tried its best pulling back up. It didn't quite fit correctly. But I got it down. Okay, after that we are now going to be doing the vents. Step 3. Take two vents D and E. 47i and 47j identify the holes where they fit on the roof 47k circled left note that one peg on each vent is larger than the other to help you position them correctly glue them in place as shown below Okay, now with the vents, I don't think I'm going to glue them just in case uh, later on if I ever get some upgrade vents, I can replace them. I was getting some uh, upgrade parts from Model Mods, but Model Mods has not made any more Titanic uh, parts in a good while. I don't know if they're going to make any more or not, but for some reason they just disappeared. I've only got pack one of Model Mods and that's all they made so far. So I don't know if it takes a while to, you know, make parts or if they just decided to quit. But hopefully they'll make some more later. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get these vents out of here. As you can see, I stored all my vents in a plastic bag. That way I would, you know, not lose them because I'm not a big fan of them little paper bags. So I got these plastic bags left over from a whole lot of extra screws that I have. And I'm going to continue using these throughout the build to store my parts in to keep them safer. Because those plastic bags have a tendency of their tape coming loose. And in my last shipment, I almost lost a part in the mail. I got lucky. It fell out inside the box and didn't fall out of the box. But I did almost lose a part. Which is what I fear when I'm going through with this build. Anyway, get these out. Okay. So now we're going to work on these two vents right here. So we need the half vent like that. And then we need the other half vent like that. Now these both look the same, but there is a big difference here. Okay, I see the difference now. The first one that you want is the one... With the little nub in the middle. You can see this one don't have a nub. You want the one with the nub in the middle. And that one's going to go over here. So putting it onto a made part. Which from the looks of it we're going to have a little bit of fight. So hang on a minute. They always want to fight me. Never fails. Just give me a few seconds here. I gotta try my best to open up these holes. Now 
Now try it again. Ah, that's the wrong vent. <laughs> Thought I had it in, but I grabbed the wrong vent. Gosh almighty, man. I'll tell you one thing. If I ever get it in there, there ain't going to be no reason to modify it. Because it's tough. You can see there. I got some major resistance. But hopefully it will eventually go and I don't break nothing. It's the back peg at the back that doesn't want to go in. So I'm going to have to get this out. And there's either something inside the hole holding it off. Or I'm going to have to um, get a blade and shave this peg down a bit. So I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to try to shrink this peg just a little bit. That way it doesn't put up such of a fight. Okay, now we're going to try it again. Gosh almighty. You can see right there where it's resistant. And no matter how hard I push, that ain't wanting to go in. So, there's something that's jammed inside the hole. So, give me a few seconds here. I'm going to have to get my X-Acto blade. Sorry, y'all, but sometimes we come across issues like this. So, looking at it, it's this hole right here. I wouldn't doubt if it's Gorilla Wood Glue that dried up in there. Which, that's what, it's, that's what it is. I can see it in there. It's Gorilla Wood Glue. That's what's holding it off. Now we're going to try it again. Yep. There we go. It was Gorilla Wood Glue inside the hole dried up in there. But we got it. Okay, so that's the first one down. And now we're going to take the one that doesn't have the nub. And it's going to go this way. And this one is going to fit at the very back on this end back here. Hopefully, no more fighting, but it probably will. Okay, got it in. You can see there, those are in. So, we're doing good there. Now, we're going to turn the page. Those don't need no glue, I tell you right now, them are... Then we're tied in there. Okay. <clears throat> Step four. Next, take the three vents A, B, and C, 47F, 47G, and 47H. Vent A, 47F, fits behind vent D, 47I, glue in place as shown, vents B, and C, 47G and 47H are glued in place at the forward end of hang on a minute, the forward end of the roof, 47K. Again, note, the pegs on the vents are different sizes. 
Okay, so I'm going to go with the first one. And the first one is two of them that looks like they're made together. That would be this one. You need this one first. From the looks of it, they're holding it this way. And this vent's going to face the inside. And we're going to put it right... Here. So... Let me look at this, see if it's going to give us a fight. From the looks of it, it is going to give us a fight. So let me look. Yeah, there's Gorilla Wood Glue in the hole. There we go. Let me try it again. I got one side in. If I just get the front to go in. And there we go. Now we have that one in. You can see how good these paper plates look down below it. It makes it look like those uh, metal plates that's down below the vents. You can't even tell that there's paper. Now our next one we're going to do, this is the one that I talked about before in a video, where they tell you to put it on backwards. But thanks to the one video that I watched, I know now it does not go that way. So we're looking for one that goes here. And it's a straight across. Let's see. Could be that one. Let me see if there's another one that matches it. It's not that one. So, yeah, it is this one. It is this one right here. They're telling you to put it on. Like that right there. They want you to put it on like that right there. But that doesn't make sense because this is going to be on the flat end then. What you really have to do is flip it around, and then you have to put it like this. So, let me do this right fast, and I'll show you. And we got some more fighting going on. Uh, there's probably wood glue in there. Yep, I see it. Okay, let me try it again. Ow. This one's really going to fight. It's fighting me to the nail on that one. And I know it'll fit because I made that hole bigger on that side for the sole purpose reason of this. So, let me just continue to work with this until I get it in there. You will go. I got one side in, if I can just get that other side to push down. Just like that. That's the correct way it has to go. So that one's now in there. Whew, sorry these things are putting up a fight. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, we got that one in. So now we got to put the one that goes over here. 
and that is this one facing the flat end towards the outside we're going to try our best to see uh, more fight be prepared for this Ouch. Okay. That one is putting up a huge fight on that one side. Gorilla will glue again. Just use a very sharp exacto blade and go around in the hole but not too much to dig out the excess glue that's in there. You don't want to bore the hole any bigger than what it is. Now we're going to try it again. And there we go. Now that one went in. Let me look at this. I've seen this happen to plenty of YouTubers. Them accidentally popping this thing off. So. Mine came off. But when I put it back on. I have to make sure that it goes on straight. So using my. Loctite gel control. I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece back on. Pop it back in the hole. And hold it the right way. Until it dries. That way it doesn't tilt. Because I, I don't want to tilt and vent. Just hold it there. And that's got it. Now our vent's straight and it's not tilting. Okay. So we got that done. So that's two. Well, that's a lot of vents put on there. So let's go to the next vents. These are going to be those cow vent looking things. Okay, step five. Take cows A, B, and C. 47B, 47C, and 47D. Check the fit of each one around the edges of the decking. Again, the pegs on the vents are different sizes. Fix each one in place with a little super glue. Uh, from the looks of the picture, the first one is going to be behind this one right here. So, looking at the pegs, that's not it. Mm, if I turn it that way. I think it's this one. You have to match the holes with the pegs. So, I'm thinking it's this one. Maybe. Mm, let me look. But then again, that one probably goes there. Yeah, I don't think that's it. I'll set it to the side. Let me look at this one. It has to be sideways. Okay, so that's not it because that's got to be in. I'm getting confused here with Vince, y'all. Hang on. Here's one. 
this one matches the picture. So, I think that's it. Let me just work with this thing. Because once again, it's going to put up a fight. So, pull that out because I'm not even going to try to press it in because I know it's not going to go. Looking under. More Gorilla Wood glue around the edges. Go figure. You can see all that Gorilla Wood glue I'm digging out. That's what's holding it off. Okay, I got that one hole opened up now. I got to do the second hole. This video is probably going to be two parts because of this. Okay, got that dug out. Let's try this again. Yep. There we go, that one's down. So we got four more vents left to go. And the next vent is going to be all the way over here at the end, all by its little lonesome self. So it could be, let's see here. Nope, that one's aimed the wrong way. That one's a straight across, that's not it. This one, however, let me shift like that. Getting confused with vents. I'm doing good. I'm a thinking it's this one. Yeah, it is. It's this one right here that has those pegs shaped like that. Let's try to get this in. Thank goodness that one just went in. So that one's on. After that one, we're going to be putting a vent right here. And it's one of these two right here. So looking at the way the vent's aimed. It's facing that way. I think it's this one because it's the only one we got left. I've almost got it. Hang on. There's just a little bit of resistance. Gorilla wood glue in the holes again. This is like becoming a routine now. Digging out and opening up the holes. Crazy stuff. Okay. So taking that vent. Yep. That's got it down. Two more vents to go. So that's all them down. So now step six. Next, fit the two cowls D forty seven E in place one fits in the center of the raised rectangular area and the second fits behind vent 47H the, s the different sized pegs on the cowls ensure they are fitted facing the right way Okay, 
So, grabbing our first one, looking at the picture here. One's got to go here. I just got to find the correct one. Which, that one's probably the one that goes, yeah, right there. Okay, that's that one. So, this one right here has to go over here. So, let me get this. Look at it, because it's probably going to fight. Yep. That one area where the uh, the hole's bigger, it's fighting. So taking my X-Acto blade, I'm digging in there again. Okay. Now I'm going to insert the vent onto the part. And there we go. That is now all the vents in place on their little metal plates that I made. So that's that part done. Now for our last step, we're going to secure this down to the, uh, the Titanic itself. Which is exciting. So, let me, if you're saying to him, fighting with my book. Ah, uh, you stupid book. Come on, man. Sorry, y'all. Book's giving me issues. Okay. Oh, step seven. Take the boat deck from the previous issues and check how the roof of the first class lounge 47k fits at the aft end of the assembly carefully turn the assembly over and rest it on something soft such as a towel to avoid damaging any of the details that have been Fitted, fix the roof of the lounge in place with six AP screws below. Okay, so if it's 